Hi. Today we will discuss about Slotsky equation. So Slotsky equation is a very important equation, is a very important theory in the microeconomics paper. So what is Slotsky equation? And how it will be derived in terms of mathematics? So the Slotsky equation is nothing but the equation which proves that price effect is the combination of income and substitution effect. So let us begin. So what is Slotsky equation? A small change in the price of a good along an ordinary demand curve can be decomposed into substitution effect and an income effect. So we can write it as the total effect of price change is the combination of substitution effect and income effect. Here it is written that total effect of price change is equal to the substitution effect minus income effect. Here the income effect is written in terms of negative. There is a negative sign before the income effect because the income effect is negative and why? why the income effect is negative, we will also discuss. So, let us derive Slotsky equation and the derivation started from a statement that at the initial utility maximization point where utility is a given level, u bar, the following condition holds. That means, at the initial utility maximization point where utility is given that is u bar at that time the compensated demand function for a good is equal to the ordinary demand function of that good okay so the compensated demand function for good x is equal to the ordinary demand function of good x and that is written in terms of mathematics in the functional term it is written as x subscript g that is compensated demand function of good x is a function of px, py and u bar. So the compensated demand function is a function of the price of x, the price of the relative good that is the price of y and utility. Here utility is constant. And the ordinary demand function or the uncompensated demand function is x of px, py and n. So here n stands for money, money income. Okay, one more thing it should be clear here that the first demand function x of c, x subscript c that is compensated demand function and that demand function was developed by Hicks, Professor Hicks, J. R. Hicks, whereas the uncompensated demand function or we can say the ordinary demand function was developed by Marshall, Alfred Marshall. So here we want to make sure that at the initial utility maximization point where utility is given, that is u bar, a fixed amount of utility, u bar. At that point, the compensated demand function of good x would be equal to the uncompensated demand function of good x. So here, it should be noted that px stands for the price of good x, py stands for the price of good y, and the price of good y means the relative good. So u bar is the utility which is constant is given and n is the money income. Okay, once again this equation is written that the compensated demand function is equal to the ordinary demand function or uncompensated demand function. Okay, as we know that the income n equals the minimum expenditure E 
to achieve the given level of utility u bar so by substituting the expenditure function that is e of px py u bar into the ordinary demand function we will get the following function it should be noted here that the expenditure function is e of px py and u bar that is expenditure function so by substituting this expenditure function in the above form in the above function in the place of m we will get the function as x subscript c of px py u bar that is the compensated demand function is equal to x subscript px i mean x of px py and in place of m we have substituted the expenditure function that is e of px py and u bar we just substituted the expenditure function in the place of income money from m now we have to take the partial derivative both in the left hand side as well as in the right hand side so what we will get that the partial derivative of the compensated demand function with respect to the price of x is equal to the change in the ordinary demand function or the uncompensated demand function x with respect to the price of x plus the change in the expenditure uh, the change in x with respect to the change in expenditure into the change in expenditure with respect to the change in the price of x now the question is why the right hand side term is written like that here i have highlighted the change in x with respect to the change in expenditure into the change in expenditure with respect to the change in price of x here it is highlighted because the chain rule is applied here in the above equation we have used the chain rule we have u chain rule why we have u chain rule because x is a function of e where e is another function of the price of x so x is the function of e and e is again the function of px so chain rule is applied i have mentioned in terms of the arrow mark i have used the arrow mark and i have shown that x is the function of e that's why i have used the arrow mark from x to e because x is a function or x is a function of e expenditure and again i have used another arrow mark from e to px because expenditure again the function of price of x so we have used chain rule and because of that chain rule we have written here that the change in x with respect to the change in expenditure into the change in expenditure with respect to the change in price of x that means x x is a function of expenditure that means the demand of x is a function of expenditure and the the expenditure is again a function of the price of x okay okay now we have to solve the other equation for the change in the partial derivative of x with respect to price of x and just by rearranging the above equation we have written that the partial derivative of x with respect to px is equal to the partial derivative of the compensated demand function of x with respect to price of x minus the partial derivative of x with respect to e into the partial derivative of e with respect to px okay here it should be noted that the derivative of the expenditure function with respect to the price of x px 
the derivative of the expenditure function with respect to Px equals x y or we can say that the change in E with respect to Px is equal to x y. This is because of the envelope theorem and Shepard's lemma. So what is Shepard's lemma? Now the question is what is Shepard's lemma? So Shepard's lemma states that the compensated demand function for a good can always be found out from the expenditure function by differentiation with respect to that goods price. One second. Shepard's lemma states that the compensated demand function for a good can always be found out from the expenditure function by simply differentiating with respect to that goods price. So, the change in the expenditure function with respect to price of X is nothing but just the compensated demand function, just X. So, that is the envelope theorem. Or we can say that the derivative of the objective function in this case the expenditure function here expenditure function is the objective function so the derivative of the objective function with respect to one of the shift parameter is simply the partial derivative so here the shift parameter is the price of the x and here the objective function is the expenditure function so the derivative of the objective function with one of the shift parameter is simply the partial derivative Therefore, the change in the expenditure function with respect to price of a x is simply equal to x. Okay, here, how, how that is possible, how it is derived, we have written. So, we have to use the Lagrangian multiplier method, the Lagrangian function. So, the subjective function and the objective function here written in terms of a Lagrangian function. The expenditure function and the utility function both are written in terms of a Lagrangian function. That is L is equal to Px into x plus Py into y plus lambda into u bar minus u of x and y. So, this is the Lagrangian function now. Now, differentiating the Lagrangian function with respect to the price of x, that is, is equal to the partial derivative of the expenditure function with respect to the partial derivative of the price of x. And that would be equal to x. If we solve this Lagrangian function, that is the partial derivative of L with respect to the price of X, then we will get X. So, it is proved that the partial derivative of the expenditure function with respect to price of X is equal to X. Now, we have again written that the partial derivative of x with respect to px is equal to partial derivative of the compensated demand function with respect to price of the x minus the partial derivative of the uncompensated demand function that is x with respect to expenditure into the partial derivative of the expenditure function with respect to px. Here we just repeatedly write that. So, Now, as you know that the partial derivative of the expenditure function with respect to the price of x is simply x due to the Shepard's lemma or envelope theorem. Now, we have to substitute the change in expenditure with respect to price of x as x in the above equation. So, the above equation is written like that. 
the change in x with respect to p x is equal to the change in the compensatory demand function of x with respect to p x minus x into the change in x with respect to the expenditure. Here it should be noted here that the change in income that is a and expenditure e are same thing for a uncompensated demand function for a Marshallian demand function. The change in expenditure and income both are same for a Marshallian demand function means for an uncompensated or ordinary demand function. Therefore, we have written that the change in x with respect to the price of x is equal to the change in the compensated demand function with respect to price of x minus x into the change in the expenditure of, I mean the change in the uncompensated demand function with respect to money m money income and this is the final derivation of Schwartz equation so here in the final equation the change in uncompensated demand function with respect to price of x is known as the price effect whereas the change in the compensated demand function with respect to price of x is substitution effect minus x into the change in x with respect to change in n. So the change in x with respect to change in n or the change in the uncompensated demand function with respect to change in income is known as the income effect. So finally we got that price effect is the combination of income effect, I mean substitution effect and income effect. So this is all about the derivation of Strauss equation.